to the stop. And don't be an idiot this round, Ryan. Ryan, don't be dumb here. That body shot oh. hurt. Oh! 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 Ah! Boom! You know what's and that's it. Right in the head. Look, he's complaining. Back in the head. Oh, definitely. You said you are me. Oh! Now the hook. There it is. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with another vid. This video, we're going to talk about Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. It went down tonight. Ding, 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 ding. And Devin Haney gets his first loss. And I'm really glad they didn't call that a draw because you know how this boxing stuff goes. Um, they do that kind of stuff. But Devin Haney, it didn't look like he could really bust a grape with his punches. It didn't look like he could... He, he could didn't look like he had much power. Let's just put it that way. Devin Haney suffers his first loss, 31-1, and one, and he got about got put away a handful of times. Ryan Garcia, the kid sold the fight. The kid sold the fight. He made us want to watch. We got to watch it with our buddy, uh, Andrew Schultz. We just went to his show, and if you have a chance to go to his show, his openers are so funny. He's so funny. One of the greatest comedians out there big boxing fan we got to watch it in the green room with him and uh he said the same thing ryan garcia he made you want to watch this fight i guarantee you if ryan garcia wasn't going through his little episodes maybe he's trolling us maybe he's not but he obviously trained hard and he was in great shape for this fight multiple times he almost put devin haney away and when you hurt someone early in a fight you use a lot of your explosive energy to try to put him away and he did that multiple times and he was still snappy with his punches at the end still snapping a jab still really dangerous with his left hook um and he gets it done he gets it done he had a very interesting tactic though every time denny devin haney would get close yeah they'd clinch a lot but he turned his back and i didn't know that was i didn't know the anytime you just turn your back to the opponent the ref will come in there and separate it the ref was doing that early on and i saw devin haney's dad talking to the ref about that and I was interested. I'm like, why are they separating it? So you can just turn your back anytime. Turn your back, arch the back, and just back the butt up, and the ref will come and separate it. I thought that was a little weird. Definitely a little weird. But Ryan Garcia, I mean, he came out there prepared. And, man, he's got a fast jab and a very, very obviously dangerous left hook. A couple of those times he was smacking with a jab, pausing for a split second, whipping that left hook, ding, and putting Devin Haney down. He also did a good job. He was cracking Devin Haney a few times when they were separating, when they were in close and they were separating. My old coach, Robert Falls, would say, this video is brought to you by Riz Pharma. Riz Pharma is dedicated to making prescription medications affordable for everyone, particularly targeting the uninsured and the underinsured populations. Their program aims to alleviate the financial burden of medical costs by offering over 800 plus generic medications for free or at a very low cost, utilizing strategic partnership and bulk buying power. Riz Pharma emphasizes the importance of customer service, offering a team of experienced pharmacy professionals to assist customers with medication inquiries and education. Education. This support system is a critical component of their mission to improve lives by making medications accessible and affordable for everyone. Some people can't afford their medications. And, and Walgreens and these places, they rip people off. Uh, John Riz Pharma, you see it on the UFC canvas. You see it on the UFC cage. He's really, uh, he's a good guy. He's trying to help people out. So this is a good way to get your meds if you need them for a good price.
It's the space between the notes that makes the music. And that's sometimes that's the best beta punch. And that's the best place to crack people when you're separating or on the in-betweens of things. And he did a good job. Hit him with that right hand, left hook, boom, in close. And it was slick. Uh, made it fun to watch. Made it fun to watch. How many people picked Ryan Garcia by a decision? Probably not many. The judges scored it. Majority decision, 112 to 112. One judge had it a uh, draw. Second judge had it 114 to 110. And the third judge had it 115 to 109. That one round was a little funky because a couple times it, they could have called those drops, um, but they didn't. They called them slips. So boxing is always a little funny. Like I said, I really rarely get excited about boxing matches, but this one is exciting because Ryan Garcia, obviously he's been calling out Suge, so he makes it more interesting and he's been going off the walls. And if you're wanting, if you're watching fighting, if Ryan Garcia would have came out, and just, I'm training hard, all respect to my opponent. How many people would watch? Probably not that many. He went nuts, acted up, sold the fight. And uh, got it done. So it, it, it made me a fan, a more of a fan of Ryan Garcia. It really did. For him to be off the walls like that, doing all the antics he was doing, and then come out ready to fight. I thought he was going to come out there. I thought for sure after that third, fourth round, he was really going to start to fade. Just from when he talks about booze and during his fight camps and all this stuff. And uh, he came out there and he looked good. He looked really good. Still cracking. Still cracking in the ninth, tenth round. After hurting him multiple times. Uh, that was sweet. I'm really, really curious what Ryan Garcia's got next. I'm sure you boxing diehards kind of know what's going to be next for him, but it's only, it's got to be something big. I mean, who are some other huge names that Ryan Garcia, that people are going to want to see him versus Javante rematch. I wonder if he'd be interested in that at all. Ryan Garcia, 25 and one. Uh, let's see if he really goes off the, off the deep end though. After this win, that's a big win. Didn't win the belt because he lost. Uh, he missed missed weight, missed weight by three pounds. And at the presser, he agreed to give Devin five hundred k per pound. So he ended up giving him one point five million. His dad was trying to tell him not to do that. I'm sure his team's like, sweet, just give away one point five mil. Uh, but he did. He's crazy. He's a crazy kid. But you guys got to remember, these crazy guys. It's partly what makes them good fighters. They're not normal. Guys like Conor McGregor, guys like Sugar, guys like John Jones, guys like Ryan Garcia. They're not normal. They got some, they're a little bit crazy. And that's what makes them good. Remember that. And I hope you guys enjoy the vid. Comment your thoughts below. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button. If you're new here, welcome in. And uh, talk to y'all later. Love y'all.